Last part of this section is a real world situation. We have an equation that represents the population, world population, in billions. It's estimated and projected by this thing. So, what does that mean? Currently, it estimates our world population. Projecting it, we can talk about in the future, around how many people are we going to have for the world population. X is the number of years since 1980. So, X equal to zero corresponds to what year? X equal to zero means I'm looking at 1980. So, X equal to 12 corresponds to what year? 12 years after 1980, 1992, you get the picture. So, the first part of these kinds of problems is determining what X value is associated to what year. So, we want to do three different things. Estimate the world population in 1980 and in 2005. Then, we want to project the world population out to 2030 and see what happens. Then, we'll graph it. Estimate the world population in 2015 based off the graph. Then, ask in what year could we project the world population to be 7.761 billion. So, first, estimate the world population in 1980, 2005, and project to 2030. So, the first thing that we need to figure out, what X values are associated to each of those years. First one's easy, we've already done it. This implies X has to be zero. Then we're looking at 1980. 2005 is how many years after 1980? So 20 will get me to 2000 and another 5. X has to be 25. 2030, we're looking at 50 years after 1980. So X has to be 50. So we just take these X values, plug them into our model, and see what comes out for Y. So, first one, 0, 7, 2 times 0, that term's going to be gone. I'm just going to be left with the y-intercept, which is 4.593 billion. Okay, that's in 1980. In 2005, what are we looking at? So, I'm plugging in 25 for x, adding on this constant. Don't worry about calculating it, I'll just give it to you. We're increasing, which makes sense. And out into 2030, what is our world population going to look like? So in this case, the x value is 50, adding the y-intercept, or the initial population, in 1980, 8.193 billion in 2030. Okay, so we estimated world populations in years that have already happened, and projecting out farther into the future, we have a good estimation or projection of what the world population is going to be. So we want to now graph the equation and use the graph to estimate the world population in 2015. So on our graph, what do we want to label? What quadrant are we going to be working in, first of all? And how do I want to kind of divvy up the axis to make it look nice and still have everything fit? So, years since 1980, 0 is associated to 1980. And I need to plot all the way out to 23 is the farthest point that I have to plot for right now. So, between 0 and the end, I need to fit 0 to 50. So, I'm going to say every two ticks is going to be 10. 10 years since... Oh, am I going to fit? A little fit on yours. Just draw myself another little one on the end. So, this is the number of years since 1980. This is my starting point. 0 is 1980, 50 years after that is 2030. So, if my x-axis is my inputs, y-axis is my outputs. So, when I plug in a year, what do I get out? Population in billions. So, the world 
population in billions. All right. So what does my y-axis have to span? So world population starting from zero, and I need to fit at least up until eight billion. So I'm gonna make each tick worth one. So I'm looking at two billion, three, four billion, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So that's an appropriate scale to fit the grid that we're given. And we're dealing with just the first quadrant because we're dealing with positive years after 1980 and positive populations. So in 1980, what was our population? 4.593 billion. So somewhere in between the four and five mark, that's where my Y intercept is happening at. Since in 1980, X was zero, we got out that population. What other points do we have? 25, when I plug in 25, I get out 6.3. So here's 25, and I get out 6.3. Just estimate where it is, roughly. Another point, 50 at the end, 8.1 billion. So around here somewhere. So if we connect that line, it's looking pretty linear. And we have a general representation of how our population is increasing. And what else were we asked to solve? Use this graph to estimate the world population in 2015. So in 2015, what x value are we looking at? So how many years after 1980? is 2015. 35. So in the graph, let's estimate the population. Around 35 is right here, so if I follow that up to my point and follow it in, maybe yours, hopefully yours is a little bit better. I'm thinking around 7 billion. Okay. So picture-wise, I'm thinking my population in 2015 was around 7 billion. But let's just double check and plug it into the model since I know the x value and see how close our estimation is. So when I plug in 35, what do I get out? 7.113 billion. So pretty darn close, just based off of our graph. So doing it by hand is not very accurate, but it gives us a good uh, visual about what's going on. And the model then will provide us a little bit more accuracy. All right, last part C. In what year could we project the world population to be 7.761 billion? So just based off of our picture and what we've seen, when we've plugged in different values for x, we know it's going to be somewhere in between what? After 35 years, but before 50 years, because I'm somewhere in between 7.113 and 8.193. So between 2015 and 2030. Okay, and we could look on the graph and get an even better estimation. But what part are we trying to solve for in this case? I need x, I need the number of years after 1980, and I have the population. So when we plug it into our equation, x is now unknown, but I know the world population, 7.761. That's what I'm working towards. So I'm trying to solve for x. We want to figure out the number of years. If we subtract 4.593 from both sides, we're looking at 3.168 on the right. I want x on its own. So x is equal to 44 around there. So 44 years after 1980 is when our population is going to hit 7.761 billion. So in what year? So in 44 years, 
after 1980 or in what? 2024, the world population is projected, since it's in the future, to be 7.761 billion. All right. Application problems, we want to give a sentence if we're asked to solve for something. 